What's up guys, my name's Purple. We're gonna be doing a map review of Volcano. Volcano Jailbreak. This is a pretty good freaking map. I really like this map. I'm in love with this map. Um, and it's one of the coolest maps ever, in my opinion. So, this is a really, really big map. And I'm about to show you how big this map is. Because this map is huge. Look at this humongous map right here it actually takes place in a volcano so that's probably why the map is called volcano you know but dude this is a really nice map in my opinion there was a lot of effort put into it and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it this is gonna be a review and also like me going over all the mini games of the map just so you can get a feel for it so yeah here we go let me switch to my shotgun, and these are the cells, pretty nice looking cells. You've got uh, benches right here, you know, basic stuff, nothing much going on. And uh, they're nice cells, you know, gotta have cells in your map. And then we got a medic right here, this is a nice medic, he's, he's friendly, and he heals you. And uh, this is the armory. So, I'm on blue team, that's why I'm able to get in, but there's health kits here, ammo kits here. Uh, this guy, you all know who he is. Um, this thing right here, you got some glass window to see out from. And yeah, this is the armory, it's a nice looking armory. And we can get started with the first mini game, which is actually right here in the main cell area. This is Climb. I'm gonna do a playthrough of Climb just so you can get a feel for it. It's a pretty quick, easy climb, but the only problem is, is if you fall, you'll die. No matter what. Even those little things down there will kill you as well, so... Gotta be really careful when you're up here. You only get one shot. I just died. See what I mean? Let me play in first person just so it's a little easier for me. And the music playing right now is a genre I like to listen to called Eurobeat. I'm a big fan of it. I've been listening to it for most of my life. It's like uh, that that deja vu song and running in the 90s if you ever heard of it. It's pretty good. So yeah, that's Climb. You've got this door right here. It closes and locks the reds inside. Pretty simple. And this is where you start to discover how big this map is. We've got side B and side A and in each side there's different mini games. And um, you can actually get from here to here through the maze of the map. But we'll start off with side B. Screw the alphabet. So, yeah, here we go. You can either go left or right. Uh, we've got Stairway to Heaven right here. It's a pretty interesting stairway. Uh, you've got this button that drops the reds in here. I'm not sure why the button is black. It's a little scary. And this button just closes this door. Oh, look at that. Actually... Okay, so this thing does um, come back after a little while. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to do a playthrough of this. I want this review to be as short as possible, but uh, this is the stairway from a um, top view, so pretty simple looking, you kind of just circle around and stuff like that, so yeah, that's a stairway to have. The lava will instant kill you if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a big jar of milk, and this is the arena. So one thing to note, um, if you fall in the arena and you're like on red team, there's no way to get out of here. It's really hard, unless you know the ladder's on, but the ladder's always off by default. But it's got a ladder button, so that's pretty neat. Makes this a nice little arena to fight in and a lava pit that'll kill you. You've got Disco right here. Uh, before we continue, let me make sure my god mode's on so I don't randomly die. Alright, awesome. So yeah, this is Disco. Uh, the music on this map is very low. It's very hard to hear the music on this map, so... That is probably going to be a problem for most people. Uh, but this map, or this minigame is like all the way in the corner, like nobody's ever going to go here. So yeah, that's Disco, Stairway, and Arena. Let's go on to this side to see the minigames here. We have Fall Game. This is a very interesting looking Fall Game, as you can tell. There's uh, little ramps and stuff to climb up on, it's not like a flat surface. And as you'll notice, this is because the game has controls. You can disable jumping and crouching which is absolutely insane. I am very mad that this is a thing, but, you know, 
it's one of the things you can do to make Fall Game extra hard and difficult. So, as you can see, I can't jump. Spam in my space bar, spam in my shift button, and uh, I can't do any of those things. I can't crouch, I can't jump, you know. That's what makes these ramps interesting, because of where you got to position yourself and maybe, you know, how you'll survive. So, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that, I can't jump, so it kind of fell down there. We'll turn this off. Alright, next game is Four Corners. Now, Four Corners on this map is very different from most other Four Corners. Uh, this is the inside on the red team of what it looks like. So basically, on the blue side, you get to choose a button to press one of the four buttons here, and the button that you press will kill the reds if they're on it, if I'm not mistaken. And that seems like favoritism, but you'll see how the game works and get an understanding of um, how, you know, favoritism doesn't exactly apply when you're playing this. You'll see now. So yeah, here it is. Here's the control panel for the blue team. I'll go ahead and uh, close that door, press this button, and it's going to do a countdown. And then once the countdown goes off, those platforms in the middle fall, and this person, whoever's on here, will get crushed. It kills him instantly. So it's interesting, you know, it's kind of like a guessing game and just being lucky. So, pretty good. Uh, I like this. I like this game a lot. So yeah, let's get on out of here. And see the next game, which is Death Run. So Death Run starts right here. Uh, it's a nice looking Death Run. Honestly, this one's really interesting in my opinion. There's a lot to go on here. I don't know why those lights are visible from here. They're kind of funky. But yeah. Um, this is the whole death run. I'll play from the blue side just so you can see. And you end up up here. So it starts down here, ends here. And here's the blue side. So it's really big from the inside actually. But yeah, here you go. So this button actually will send reds up into this room right here and I think this room just kills them if I'm not mistaken so it's an interesting trap uh, we've got this one that just crushes you uh, this one is actually there's nothing here but it drops a, a big rock down there that'll kill you so gotta be careful with that uh, down here it drops bridges if you fall down a crocodile eats you up Oh, I couldn't show you the crocodile there. There it is. There it is. And uh, yeah, we've got this part right here. Those are just bombs. Uh, this is actually just the door to let you out. And um, that's death run. Pretty cool death run in my opinion. Over here we got pool. So this is a pool area. It's a nice looking pool. Best part about it is this little paddle, or I forgot what these things are called, diving board. No, I don't think it's called a diving board. But whatever it's called, it actually sends you flying. If you stand right here, it sends you flying. That wasn't me jumping, that was just me walking forward. And you can do some cool strafe stuff. So, it'll be really fun to play with uh, with the reds. You've got a bar right here. It's a nice looking bar. And you've got the bathrooms. Uh, there's, I mean, I guess they're not bathrooms. I don't see any toilets in here. But you've got uh, showers and sinks, you know? Wash your hands, wash your body. Over here is nothing. It's just a way to circle around instead of going through here. And here we have an interesting game called Walls. It's like uh, that hit TV show Hole in the Wall, where you dodge or kind of form your body into a certain shape to not break the wall and kind of get past the obstacles. So this game would probably be really fun to play with collisions. So for wardens who are trying to be complete dickheads, uh, you can play this game with collisions on and it'll be very fun. So yeah, uh, over here is the next part of the map, which is the intersection between the A and the B side that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's a few games here. You've got theater. It's a nice looking theater. You have a sweeper right here, knife pit, and there's a special game in here which I will show in the last part of my video. So uh, you'll see that game last since it's a pretty big game. Uh, and then we have sweeper here. So, I'm not actually sure what the difference between these yellow and red buttons are. I think it's the difficulty. But you'll press the button and it starts. 
And uh, just in case you want to lock the reds out and make sure they don't leave the game, you've got these two yellow buttons on the side that uh, both do the same thing, open and close the door. So yeah, it's a pretty uh, normal looking sweeper. There's some platforms a little closer, so makes it interesting. We've got Knife Pit right here. Uh, there's a secret vent that I'll show you in the next part of my video. But uh, just keep uh, be aware of that when you're playing this game with your reds, that they can possibly go through that vent and uh, get something that's behind there, which is not going to be revealed until the second part. And uh, this is where we go to the next part of the map. This is the uh, the A side, but I'll circle all the way down to where you come out from, just so you can see, right here in front of climb. So we'll start from this side and go to B Hop. This is B-Hop. Um, B-Hop is also a cool game. It's got um, these buttons over here. Which these buttons basically turn on these lasers that you see. So, Pretty intense, honestly. I'll go ahead and play this game so you can see it in action. Whew, I almost died there. And you can see, oh my, I died. Well, that's B Hop for you. And uh, you can start them from either side as well. And uh, this area is just uh, cosmetic, there's nothing up here. You can't go in here. So, yeah, uh, right here we've got 9 square. This 9 square is pretty interesting because you never know which square is going to go away. Well, I guess that's a, you know, thing in every 9 square, but. This one's pretty cool because, check it out, look what happens when the podiums fall. They just go all the way down to the ground, or you die. There's actually a way to maybe survive as a scout. Uh, it's really hard though, if you double jump out, but, you know, I'll, I'll encourage that if I'm playing that game, people will find a way to escape it doing that. It'll be pretty fun. Uh, we already went in here, that's b -Hop. So yeah, up here, we've got a few more games, Box Game, Obby, and Jump Rope. Uh, this Jump Rope is pretty basic. We've got this button that uh, closes the door. Like I said, the yellow and the red, which are the two modes, I'm assuming. See that one. And then uh, this one. So yeah, there's, there's that. Just jumping over. And the red one stops it. You would think the red is like very hard, but I think the red is just uh, to stop the game. So yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, looks like my audio cut off for a moment, but this is the obstacle course of Jailbreak Volcano. It's a very interesting Jailbreak um, obstacle course. You've got these buttons that obviously close and open the doors, and uh, we'll do a playthrough. This is the beginning. Uh, these platforms will fall under you, so just be very careful. And then these platforms do nothing. And then this part, you kind of have to circle around these things. Because if you run into them, they'll start doing damage. But you'll notice if I'm standing still, they don't really do anything. So, good to keep that uh, knowledge just in case you feel like you can't make it to the next one. You just stand still and maybe you can get past. This part is super tricky because these platforms look like they'll... It, it looks like it'll stop like about here, but it stops early and then it throws you off. Always throws me off. So, and then this one's especially really fast. See, I just fell. We'll try again. There we go. That was a close one as well. And yeah, that's Obby. Jump rope is still on. We'll just leave it on. No big deal. This is the box game. This is a very cool box game. Um, it's it's almost like the, the box game at Hop, except all the boxes fall at like random times. So you got this cool effect going on where you're just constantly trying to dodge the boxes. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's different from most box games, so it's, it's a nice uh, um, design in my opinion. 
one thing to note is that these doors can uh, cross you, so you got to be really careful of that. Let me show you an example with this one. Yeah, right. There we go. See, the freaking whole screen turned red. Uh, nothing's passed here, if you're wondering. And uh, this is Op Dodge. This is the final mini game, other than the the, the one I was going to show you last. But if you stand in front of the snipers, they make a sniping noise, and you'll basically die from there. So, yeah. That's Opdot. Uh, there's a cool room in the middle here, which isn't really anything crazy. This is actually part of a secret that uh, I'll show in my second part of the video. But yeah, that's um, that's Theater. That's Knife Pit. Ah, uh, Sweeper, like we went over. And that's the entire map and all the mini games. So, hoping this was only under 20 minutes. If it wasn't, then whatever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stick around for the second part, which is going to be in the same video, but uh, yeah, stick around. What's up guys? This is Purple for the second part of the Jailbreak Volcano review map. Um, this is going to be all of the secrets that you can find on this map. Uh, there's a lot of them, so get ready for this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So, yeah. We'll start off with uh, the first secret that you can find in the cell, which is right here. Uh, basically, you break this and it just opens up the wall to the next cell. It does take a lot of hits to break, so... Most of the time you'll probably not be able to do that, but just in case, you know... Warden takes extra long to give orders. And you've got another secret down here. Uh, the vent, which this vent leads into this vent. So as you can see, there's a lot of breakables that lead you into this very cell. And after you break this vent, you get led down here. Uh, there's a cool little vent going on there, and you're like behind the armory. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can sneak behind reds, or sorry, blues, I mean, and kill them if you're a spy or something. And uh, it's a pretty nice uh, secret, kind of just sitting there, you know, not doing much. And uh, the next secret is actually, as you saw, I climbed up this ladder around these boxes to get on top of Armory. And here in Armory, there is a vent that leads into, well, the Armory, of course. And down here you've got med packs and ammo, just like I went over last time. And uh, you'll see actually here there was a gold bar. And these gold bars don't look like much, but when you hit them, you actually get something that comes up in the chat, which I'll need to turn on my HUD for. But yeah, you hit it, and it'll say first ingot found. So most people will not know what this means, but since you're watching this video, you'll know by the end of this video. So those gold ingots will basically allow you access to a special secret, which everybody loves going on this map for. It's the main attraction of this map, to be honest. And uh, there's ingots all around the map. Every time you hit one, it'll give you a message saying second ingot or third ingot found. Um, so, as you saw, there's one on top of Armory right there. There's one inside of Medic, behind that little statue. And uh, you'll find the next gold bar soon enough. But before that, let's show the next secret, which is actually up this ladder in this little slit right here. You gotta try to get all the way to that vent, and uh, the quickest way of doing this, I think, is to crouch against the wall while holding right against the wall as well, because you actually gain extra speed when you do that. So here's an example. This is me holding right, and this is me letting go of right, so you can see I actually go faster. So it's a good trick to know uh, when playing jailbreak and just crouching in general. It takes a while to get in. Gotta make sure my god mode's on. I don't want to die. And uh, yeah, this is um, where it leads you. Leads you in front of pool, just right here. As you know, uh, pool leads to uh, the B-side hallway. So you go up here, and uh, before we continue on, let's show you the next secrets. Uh, there's actually two down here. Here there's a gold ingot, right there. And down here, in this little dark area, is ammo. Uh, this ammo does not respawn, 
But it's good to know that there's ammo there so you can sneak away and grab it. Maybe while running from there to here. So yeah. Uh, there's another secret which is right here, this vent. Which actually leads you down to the B side area. Um, closer to the entrance of it, to be clear. So you crouch down here, go down here, and there you are. In front of Stairway to Heaven. So yeah, we can go back up this hole. Well, we can't, but I am, because I got no clip. And um, we'll go over the next secret. So here's another gold bar, right behind the bar. And um, hit the gold bar behind the bar inside of a uh, pool. You hit it, and then there's another secret right here, which you might have noticed from the first part. It's a little wall that gives you a medium ammo kit. This one does not respawn either. But here it is. There it is right there. Ammo. And uh, yeah. So we're almost done. Uh, there's a few more, if I'm not mistaken. You've got this cool little pull, which doesn't do much, but if you hit it enough times... Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually this pull, I think. It's one of these pulls. Ah, there we go. I had to hit the right spot. But you hit it and it falls down. Honestly, there's not much to this secret. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. But I'll keep, keep note that when it does fall, there's a chance that you can get stuck on it. Unless that got fixed. I think that got fixed on this map. So, but good to know anyway. Uh, here's the next secret, which you might have saw in the first part. It's a vent that leads to a, another medium ammo kit that does not respawn uh, behind these little boxes and fence right here. Probably not a good idea to do this secret unless these doors are closed and nobody really sees you. Or if you're just trying to, you know, get behind here and get ammo. Maybe you ran away. And uh, I think we're missing one more gold bar, which is actually down here in blue 9 square. So you'll find this one behind this door right here. And uh, there it is. And then once you get all five gold bars, it'll probably tell you that all gold bars were found. And uh, you'll have to have your HUD on for this, but I mean, mine is off just for the purpose of this video. But you'll see, you've got a stack of the gold bars that you found. And I'll turn on my HUD just so you can see this, but all you got to do is hit this de um, engineer and he tells you the password. Password is 3103. So this is where you got to go to find this um, special room. So actually it's not this way. It is in the B side hallway. So we'll go all the way over here. And there it is. This room right here. So if I'm correct, I think the password was uh, 3103. And then this door starts opening really, really slowly while playing an alarm. And that's because this secret is absolutely insane. You'll see what the secret is. I'll show you later. But for now, let's do a preview of the minigame I never got to cover called Boss Fight. It's a very fun and awesome game in my opinion. Probably one of the best minigames of every single map combined. Just because of how great it is. Uh, I don't have a friend here to start it, so I gotta put a sticky bomb, you know. And then just walk in here. Let me pause the music because there's some music in here that is pretty epic. Here we go. This is boss fight. You'll see and look around that there's a big red guy who's trying to kill you. And you've got these uh, nice looking neon kind of uh, design going on. I don't even know how to describe it. But it's really cool. Honestly, this is such an amazing minigame. This is the first stage, which um, you basically dodge these X's. And uh, just make sure that you don't get hit by them, because then it'll knock you off the, uh, the map. And, um, you know, there's like three different stages here. Oh, I almost fell there. And this is the first stage. So once you beat the first stage, he gets all sad, like, you know, that you beat his stage and then you gotta go up to these platform um, panels and just kind of break them. After enough swings they disappear and then you gotta quickly run back to the middle because he's angry and he's gonna get ready for his next stage. 
So as you can see, the platforms below me are falling. And uh, they have little red X's when they're about to fall, so you just gotta jump from one to the other. Almost died there. And uh, you gotta watch closely. I think there's a glitch that sometimes uh, the platforms disappear even though there's no X. But that might have been fixed in this version of the map, so uh, be aware of that. Oh! I almost died. I had to use no clip to cheat there. <laughs> but um, yeah. There it goes, the stage is ended, he gets all sad again, and uh, you go on to the next part. But yeah, you'll you'll see if I go in first person. Stand here. This is absolutely amazing. And this is the final stage, this is the coolest one. You gotta jump from platform to platform here, and run away from him because he's coming after you. He's like actually coming after you, so like you gotta be really quick or else it'll be too late and he'll kill you. So just jump from one to the other, then hit this thing as soon as possible before he kills me. As you can see he's getting awfully close, but I did it, I won, and that's it. The game's over. And the music was just getting really epic too, so too bad I missed that music, but oh well. So, we'll go ahead and go to the secret now. Uh, you'll see the secret right here. Leads you up to this room. And this room is to turn on something insane. So, like I said, this map is called Volcano. It's a volcano map. And there's a big green button right here, which I'll put a bunch of stickies around, because when you press it, it turns red, this door starts closing, and you're going to see the lava, which I'll get down as quickly as I can, so you can see the lava will start rising, and the ground will start shaking. This baby's going to erupt, and you're not going to be around to see it, because you'll probably die. But here it goes. Uh, oh yeah, there's actually another ammo kit right here. But this one's almost impossible to get to unless you're like a soldier or something that rocket jumps. But yeah, there's an ammo pot that I didn't tell you about. Now you know. And uh, I guess that health kit down there is another um, secret. Sorry for the seizure right now, I know it's a little intense. But uh, this level will start rising and whether you survive it or not, which the only way to survive is to be in that room down there, uh, the round will end no matter what eventually so once it kind of yeah there we go rounds over lava's gonna kill me soon turned off my god mode just so you can see it and I'm dead and yeah um that is jailbreak volcano I hope you guys enjoyed and um I guess if you have any questions or, sh or something like that just uh hit me up so hope you enjoyed